here we are once again in my car and we are about to head back to the Nürburgring. Now it was only two months ago that I went last time and that was for my birthday. This time around it's Misha's birthday. So you may have seen I did a couple of videos uh, with Misha. Uh, so Misha took us on a quick tour of some of the cars and he also took me for a shotgun ride in his VW Up. Uh, this time around He's actually holding a party. Well, in fact, Apex Nurburg is holding a party. So they decided that they would give away 28 laps to people um, who told them what Apex meant to them and what Misha meant to them, etc. Uh, so they're giving away 28 laps. A couple of them happened today because it was open for a couple of hours. Uh, today, I think I may have already mentioned, is in fact his birthday. So tomorrow, the party's still going to continue. The track is open pretty much all day, so that's when the majority of the laps are going to happen. So we're going to find out uh, what's going on. I think they'll have some kind of hospitality. But that is basically enough of me talking. It is now quarter to ten. Uh, my train leaves at 1.40, I think it does, and that's 1.40 in the morning. Uh, it's only going to take a, an hour and a half or so to get there. Uh, but I thought I'd get that early try and get a little bit of sleep before heading onto the train. Um, I've got everything with me, all my equipment, etc. Um, and this is going to be an interesting trip because I booked it the last minute, but I also don't want to miss an opportunity this time just in case Misha decides to take me around the ring in his VW Up or one of the other cars. You never know. Um, but I thought I would hang around for a bit longer tomorrow so i'm going to basically head off about 10 o'clock tomorrow night um so that i can get my train that leaves calais back to the uk at four o'clock in the morning so we'll see how that goes in the meantime i'm going to start making my way over because i think i'm definitely going to need a nap so goodbye for now two o'clock in the morning and uh, I'm on the Euro tunnel going through the tunnel as we speak. Probably can't see out the window but there are lights going past. I just wanted to point out that this train is actually extremely empty. My car is right at the front. There's one car in front of me and then the exit uh, and then I've just walked past about nine cars in total to get to here and it's empty. It's incredibly empty. So I've got this whole train to myself. I've got the whole carriage to myself. Um, although I'm going to go back to the car and try and get some sleep. Okay, so it is now just past five o'clock. And uh, I am in fact about halfway through the trip. Um, I'm going down the E40, which is the worst part of Belgium because it's just one long road, trees on that side, wall on this side and literally nothing to see for about 40 odd miles. I am a little bit concerned that it is starting to get a little bit misty and foggy uh, so I have a feeling that as we get closer to the Nürburgring it may get worse, but we shall see. Right, so I have made it to Apex Nürburgring. It is now 20 past, yep, 20 past seven in the morning, which is 10 minutes earlier than I thought it would be at least. I did predict that there would be quite a lot of fog, which there was, but luckily here there isn't much fog, but I did drive through quite a lot. I've noticed that people are moving around and I don't know whether that is just some of the guests in the hotel or whether that is actually one of the guys that works here. I think it's Tim. Given that things start at around about nine o'clock, I reckon people will start to be waking up around that now. So I am gonna see if I can get some shut-eye before anybody comes down and wakes me up. But I'm looking forward to what happens later. So I shall. There we go. That is a sign for me to go to bed.
So this is Apex Nürburgring currently. It is snowing pretty hard. The track is still open. There are a couple of people out doing some laps, but there are quite a few people to go. And there is a probability that the track will in fact close. Um, as you can see, it has blanketed this car and in fact all the cars in snow. You can barely see the up in the corner. I mean, it is white anyway. Firstly, I must apologise because there was a huge gap in footage and that's really because I didn't film any. Um, the weather turned out to be a bit crap today, so um, it was a bit hit and miss with people going out on laps, but luckily everyone managed to go out on laps, so a few no-shows, uh, so a few replacements, etc. Uh, but pretty much jam-packed, um, so sadly I didn't get an opportunity to go around the ring today. And today is pretty much the last day uh, the last opportunity to go around the track this year so it's gonna have to be next year that I come back and Misha suggested sometime April onwards so definitely gonna come back next year so there's gonna be a lot more stuff happening next year I do have a couple more videos planned for the next couple of weeks so definitely subscribe to my channel to find out what happens in those videos um, and also don't forget to like and comment if you have any comments as well in the meantime guys Thank you and good night.